All right, thanks for watching. And today I would like to tell you about the formula that will seriously change your life. And I'm not even kidding, after watching this video, you will never use a quadratic formula ever again, because this is way better. And just a little disclaimer, I did not come up with this. It was Po Shen Lo, who is a professor at Carnegie Mellon University, who came up with this method. And by the way, he's one of the nicest people I ever met. Super, super humble. Mm. And another disclaimer though, uh, he also did not come up with this. It was actually known in ancient Babylonian times. And for some reason, it got tarnished with the quadratic formula. I don't know why, but let me show you now the awesome method. So suppose you're trying to find the zeros of x squared minus 6x plus 8. Well, if you try to factor this out as x minus x1 times x minus x2, so where x1 and x2 are the roots, then you get the following. So this becomes x squared minus x1 plus x2x plus x1 times x2, which tells you the following thing. The sum of the roots, which is just x1 plus x2, equals 6, and the product, or the prada, of the roots, which is x1, x2, equals 8. Now, here's the point where most people stop, but Po Shen Lo went one step further. Namely, here's the following clever observation. If the sum of the roots is 6, then the midpoint, which is x1 plus x2 over 2, so the average between the two, now becomes 6 over 2, and that's 3. So in particular, if, let's say, x1 is the left root and x2 is the right root, then the midpoint between the two is 3. And here's another crucial observation. Notice the distance between the roots and the midpoint is the same. So that's just by definition of uh, the midpoint. And this distance, usually we call it d, but d is usually for discriminant, so let's call it u. In particular, what is this saying about the root? Well, the smaller root, let's say x1, is just 3 minus u, so 3 minus the distance, and x2, which is 3 plus the distance is just 3 plus u. And there's one more info we haven't used yet, namely that x1 times x2 equals 8. So let's use those two new formulas to plug it into this product. So x1 times x2 equals 8. That gives you 3 minus u times 3 plus u equals 8. But then you can just write this out as 9 minus u squared equals 8. But then you can solve for u. So let's put u squared on the right hand side and 8 on the left hand side, which is the same thing as just swapping. So then you basically get u squared equals 9 minus 8, which is 1. So u squared equals 1, and therefore, since u is a distance, u has to be 1. So by taking square roots. So what is this saying about our roots? Well, we know the midpoint is 3, x1 is on the left, x2 is on the right, and the distance is 1. What this is saying is, x1 is 3 minus 1, which is 2. And x2, it's 3 plus the distance, which is 4. So just to write this down, x1, it's 3 minus u, which is 3 minus 1, which is 2. And x2, it's 3 plus u, which is 3 plus 1, and that's 4. So you see, we found the roots without a lot of, you know, effort.
the hardest part is taking the square root here. And um, of course, it looked like a very long exercise, but I want to show you now that in practice is much easier. Another example, so let's do x squared minus 2x plus 8 ninths equals 0. If you use the quadratic formula, it's a nightmare, but now you see it's very easy with the push and low method. So first of all, what is the midpoint? It's just the sum divided by 2. So midpoint is just in this case 2 divided by 2, which is 1. And then which says the midpoint is 1, and then one root is u to the left, the other root is u to the right. And in particular, what is the product? It is just x1 times x2 equals 8 ninths. So x1 times x2 equals 8 ninths. But the left root is just 1 minus u. The right root is 1 plus u. So 1 minus u times 1 plus u equals 8 ninths. So 1 minus u squared equals 8 ninths. Now swap the two. So u squared equals 1 minus 8 ninths, which is 1 ninth. So u, since it's positive, it becomes 1 third. So square root of 1 ninth is 1 third. So in particular, the left root is 1 minus u, which is 1 minus 1 third, and that's 2 thirds. And the second root is 1 plus u, which is 1 plus 1 third, and that's four-thirds. You see, that's it. How awesome is that? And now I just want to show you that. You can even use it to find repeated roots and to find uh, complex roots as well. So next example. What if you want to find the roots of x squared plus 4x plus 4? Well, notice, first of all, be just a little bit careful. 4 is minus, minus 4. So always make sure there's a minus here. And so the midpoint, it's minus 4 over 2, which is minus 2. So again, the midpoint here is minus 2. And so the left root is minus 2 minus u. The right po midpoint is minus 2 plus u. And that equals to 4. And so you get 4 minus u squared. That's 4, and this cancels out, and you basically get u squared equals 0, which gives you u equals 0. And so what are the roots? So it's simply x equals, so minus 2, and then either minus u or plus u, which you can just abbreviate as minus 2 plus or minus u, and that becomes minus 2 plus or minus 0, and that's minus 2. So that's good. And then uh, before I do a complex root example, just a little remark. So may always make sure that the co leading coefficient is 1. If it's not 1, let's say for the case let's just, I don't know, 2x squared minus 3x plus 4 equals 0, just make sure to divide this leading coefficient by 2. So this is the same thing as x squared minus 3 half x plus 2 equals 0. And now let's just do quickly one more complex root just to see again how awesome this is. Okay, so let's find the root of x squared plus x plus 1 equals 0. And I know blah 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 geometric series, uh, but let's just use the push and low way. So remember here you need to have a minus. So it's a minus minus 1 times x. So the midpoint becomes minus one half, which means the roots are, so this is minus one half. So one is minus one half minus u, the other one is minus one half plus u. And then minus one half plus u, and that equals one. And then you can solve this, so this becomes 1 fourth minus u squared equals 1. So you just swap it, u squared it's 1 fourth minus 1, and that becomes minus 3 fourths. And therefore u 
becomes square root of that. But square root of minus 1, that's i, and square root of 3 quarters is square root of 3 over 2. And it doesn't matter if you put plus or minus, because in the end the roots will have plus or minus. And I know this doesn't represent a distance, but still the method is correct. And what does that tell us about the roots? It just becomes minus 1 half plus or minus square root of 3 over 2i. How cool is that? And this concludes our exploration of Push and Lowe's method. Even though there will be two other videos with more applications, I hope you like this. And if you want to see more, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.